Today's lecture is on the greater sciatic foramen. Now the greater sciatic foramen is an opening at the back of the human pelvis which is created by the sacrotuberous ligament seen here in purple and the sacrospinous ligament seen right here. Now the importance of the greater sciatic foramen is that it is a potential space and the foramen is created by the ligaments which surround it. An extension of these foramen is created by this muscle here, the piriformis, which divides the greater sciatic foramen into a suprapiriform foramen and a infrapiriform foramen. Now what is significant are the structures and vessels which pass through these foramina. Now as we can see, Above the piriformis, in the suprapiriform foramen, we have the superior gluteal nerve, artery, and vein, shown here in orange, red, and blue respectively. And all three of these innervate the gluteus medius, the gluteus minimus, as well as the tensor fascia latte muscle. In the infrapiriform foramen, we have a wide variety of structures coming through here. So we have the inferior gluteal nerve, artery, and vein, and this supplies the gluteus maximus muscle. We have the internal pudendal artery and vein, as well as the pudendal nerve, right here, one, two, three, and all of these supply the perineal area. We also have here the sciatic nerve, this thick band it is the thickest nerve in our body and that supplies the posterior lower appendage. We have the posterior uh, femoral cutaneous nerve runs along with the sciatic nerve and that innervates the cutaneous or skin sensation on the back of the leg. We also have here the nerve to the obturator foramen and the nerve to quadratus femoris, and they innervate precisely what the nerve has been named for. Now for some of these in the infrapiriform foramen, we see that as they exit underneath the piriformis muscle, they re-enter the pelvis traveling underneath the sacrotuberous ligament. And these are the structures that come out of the greater sciatic foramen.